Oh my god, there are lots of platforms to post your videos. Hmm, a lot of work, right? Suppose you have prepared this video for your YouTube channel, but to run along with the trend, you need to post it to Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Tell me, will you manually adjust the video to match with different platforms' expect ratio? If you ask me, no, I will not. Instead, I will use Adobe Premiere Pro Auto Reframe feature. This is a very convenient way to resize your video for different social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, TikToks, or YouTube. Hey, welcome to the world of video editing. So here is the sequence that I have prepared for my YouTube channel and I have already posted it on my YouTube account. Now I want to post it as a uh, Facebook story and I want to make a version for Instagram, maybe once to one version. So how we can do that? There are two possible way to do that in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first way is you can just duplicate this sequence as your required aspect ratio. To do that, you have to go to your project panel. Here you can see the project panel. So if you don't see that, uh, maybe you are not uh, finding this project panel, then you have to go to window, then search for projects and click on your project name. So here is my project panel and I want to make a duplicate of this sequence which says stable footage you can see this sequence is here and i want to make a compatible format for my facebook story so if you just right click on it you will see these options and click on auto reframe sequence so here you can see a lot of options first one is the name um, what name you want to put there so i'm just going to make it 9 to 16 so i'm just keeping it stable footage 9 into 16 and then target aspect ratio you need to select your record aspect ratio from this drop down menu i am making a version for a facebook story and the format is 9 is to 16 so i am going to select 9 is to 16 and the next section is motion tracking if you want to have faster motion suppose i am moving and if you want to track me very fast then you have to choose faster motion or you can just uh, click on slower motion i am just clicking default which is not so fast and not so slow and then keep nesting there are two options here don't nest clip this will repress your current motion adjustment so we are going to mark this one and if you want to nest your clips then you can select the next one i prefer to click on this one then click on create so premiere pro will analyze the footage and will make a version which is 9 is to 16. so let me check here is the uh, auto reframe sequence and you can see stable footage 9 is to 16 is here and if I just play back you can see I am in the middle my legs are in the middle of this frame yeah it is tracking me perfectly so the original clip was this which is 16 is to 9 and Premiere Pro is making a version which is 9 is to 16 that is very impressive right so now if you want to make a version for your facebook account or you want to put it on your instagram account then you need to make a one to one version right you can make a one to one version just like this one just right click on it then go auto reframe sequence and click one to one version then premiere pro will make a version which will look like one to one so if i just play back here is the version very quick and easy process there is another way to do that maybe you have make a sequence which is once to one let me make a sequence uh, i'm just keeping the resolution 1080 into 1080 so sometime you will have the video ready to work with and you need to reframe it for your uh, desired sequence as you have seen i have made a sequence and the ratio of this sequence is 1 is to 1 and the resolution is 1080 into 1080 now i want to use this existing video on this sequence if i just drag it here and place it to my sequence you can see it is just not working so how we can adjust it for this sequence you need to go to effects panel if you don't see the effects panel then you need to go to window then click on effects then this panel will pop up search for auto reframe and click and drag this auto reframe to your video then go to effect control panel and you can just run analyze now premiere pro will analyze this video you can see it is analyzing 
the video and it will prepare your video for this particular sequence so premiere pro has completed the analyzing so if i just go to the beginning and play it back So the video clip is perfectly reframed. If you are making content for different social media platform, I hope this video will help you. If you have liked this video, you can just give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more Premiere Pro related tips and tricks video just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.